The urinary tract system produces, stores, and excretes urine from the body. Under normal circumstances, kidneys produce about one mole of urine per minute. The capacity of the bladder is variable. A healthy bladder can usually retain about 350 to 500 mole of urine. Three sets of muscles control the flow of urine from the bladder via the urethra. The internal and external sphincters, which are formed by involuntary and voluntary muscles respectively, and pelvic floor muscles. In people with impaired urinary flow, either due to retention or incontinence, a safe and reliable system is required to collect and contain urine. This is where the urinary catheter comes into play. Indications for urinary catheterization include the following. To permit the passage of urine in patients with neurological disorders which cause bladder dysfunction. To manage urinary incontinence in patients lacking cognitive function. To minimize skin diseases and pressure ulcers in paralyzed, comatose, or terminally ill patients. To administer chemotherapy and irrigate the bladder. Before and during surgeries to empty the bladder. Because if the surgery is done when the bladder is full, there is a risk of bladder rupture. To measure urine output in post-operative and indicated other patients. To empty the bladder during childbirth. For induction of labor. And to perform urodynamic studies. Foley catheter was originally introduced by the American urologist Frederick Foley nearly 80 years ago. It has the following parts. Drainage tube to drain urine. Drainage funnel to attach the urine collecting bag. Balloon at the end of the catheter to be inflated with sterile water from a syringe to retain the catheter within the bladder. And the balloon inflation port to attach the syringe which contains sterile water. The smooth rounded tip of the catheter extends beyond the balloon and one or more eye holes are cut in the two adjacent to the tip to allow urine to drain. This image shows a catheter inserted to a female bladder through the urethra. The inflated balloon prevents displacement of the catheter end and a urine bag is connected to the drainage funnel to collect urine. In situations where urinary catheterization is difficult to perform, a suprapubic catheter may be inserted to drain urine, as you can see in this picture. Foley's original catheter was made of latex. The main problem with latex is its cytotoxicity. Therefore, latex catheters are now coated with silicon to prevent the risk. Some catheters are entirely made up of silicon. In addition to minimizing the cytotoxicity, silicon catheters are also very resistant for kinking, making the insertion easier. Finally, a few risks associated with Foley catheters. During insertion, catheter can cause urethral trauma, especially when performed by untrained personnel. This can lead to long-term problems such as formation of urethral strictures. Catheter surface can be colonized by bacteria, especially it is placed for a long period of time. In rare instances, this can lead to septicemia. Antibiotic resistance is another complication of urinary catheters. Other risks include kidney and bladder damage, and retention of balloon fragments if the balloon bursts within the bladder. These retained fragments can lead to formation of bladder stones later in life.